I'm gonna give you the ultimate goal setting technique that I guarantee you no one has ever taught you before. When it comes to goal setting, most people either say one or two things. They usually say, you've gotta set a goal that's 10 times the size of where you are right now. You gotta think so big. You should just set a goal that's sustainably bigger than where you are right now. Set a goal that's realistic. And I'm going to debunk both of these myths today. The only thing you need to do that's actually going to help motivate you, get you into action, and get your brain focusing on the only things that matter to actually achieve your goals. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Morgan Nelson. I created financial freedom at the age of 23, made my first million dollars by 28. I now have four different companies. I travel the world and I teach and inspire thousands and thousands of people around the world in person how to hack their brain, transform their life, and achieve their dreams. I've become really good at specifically teaching people how to essentially goal set effectively, not screw it up, but utilize psychology and neuroscience on their side so they can actually execute on their dream life. And I'm gonna walk you through today a new study that I found that really backs everything that I've taught for many years. If you're anything like me, when I first got into personal development and goal setting, I went along to a seminar and I saw all these people making a lot of money and instantly I thought, hey, I can do that as well. Or at least I thought, hey, wouldn't it be really amazing if I could do that? But then I came back and looked within myself and I have never made any more than $60,000 in a year at that point. But I was looking at these people that were making over a million dollars a year thinking that, yeah, I can do that. And not only can I do that, but I'm gonna do it in the next year. And then I watched The Secret, The Law of Attraction, and I cut out pictures of a yacht, a jet, the Ferrari, the mansions, and all the things, and I hung them on my wall. And at that point, I'd never even seen a Ferrari in my life. I had these huge goals, huge ambitions, but one thing was missing, the drive. Have you ever had something like that before? You've had a vision, you've had a dream, but for some reason, some internal invisible block inside of you just doesn't motivate you yet to actually get into action and do the things you need. There was this really cool study done in the Balsetis lab where they did a study on people when it comes to saving for retirement. Now, before I get into it, let me tell you a story about a friend of mine who is a massive New York broker. And she came over to Australia one time and she was punching all these numbers into a calculator, showing me these numbers and she says, Morgan, if you invest this much money each month for the next 40 years, this is how much money you're gonna have. And she showed me, it was like nearly $2 million in the bank over the next 40 to 45 years. I was 22 years old at the time. And I looked at her and I said, look, I don't wanna annoy you here, but that's not motivating at all. I'm like, cause I'm gonna make millions of dollars elsewhere. Looking back on it now, I really wish I did start taking her advice back then. But the reality was she was showing me a vision that was pretty big, but so far away. It was 40 plus years away where it didn't spike enough blood pressure and adrenaline in my nervous system to actually kick me into gear. Now let's look at another example. Let's take something that I really love, like Ben and Jerry's ice cream. If I'm walking in the shops and I see Ben and Jerry's ice cream there, I'm pretty motivated to get it because I see it in my very near future. It's very easy to get and I'm gonna be very motivated to get it. If I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna enjoy it instantly. But if I was to delay it, if I were to say, hey, I'm gonna come back in a week and get it, chances are about 30 minutes after I walked away, I'm not thinking about it anymore. I'm not motivated by it anymore because it's so far away for the size of the thing that I'm going to get, I just don't really care about it anymore. So what they've shown is that essentially, the further away the goal is, the further away you perceive it to be attainable, the least motivated you actually are to get it. Now it's got to hit a perfect crossroad because it could be say 10 years away, but it might be billions of dollars or it might be something so huge that's actually worth it for you like winning a gold medal at the olympics people work their ass off for like a decade to get that thing so for something that is absolutely massive for them they will be motivated to actually go through the enduring process over a longer period of time to get it but most people aren't trying to win at the olympics most people just trying to grow their business by 2x 3x 5x most people just trying to create financial freedom retire their parents travel the world and this in itself is one of the biggest problems. So there's two major problems with setting goals. One is, it's too big. So the first thing you gotta look at when setting goals is you've gotta set a vision so powerful, so big enough, that it actually spikes the blood pressure inside of your body, so it ignites adrenaline inside you. The adrenaline is actually gonna push you into momentum, getting you off the starting line. 
that is where most people actually struggle the most. They procrastinate, 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 procrastinate. So they're really looking for a deep dive, a deep hit of adrenaline so they can get going to begin with. Now let's look at the two different types of goals that most people set. Sometimes people will set a goal so freaking big where you gotta think 10 times bigger, think 10 times bigger than that again, and let that be the goal. And they think that this is gonna be the thing that inspires them so much, but they're actually the exact opposite. Because to most people like me, when I take the photo of the Ferrari, and the mansion and the yacht and the jet, it was so big and so unimaginable for where I had currently been in my life that it didn't do anything to my nervous system because my brain just looked at it and said, well, that's so unachievable. I'm not even gonna get excited because it's not anywhere near in my immediate future. And I also don't believe that's actually attainable. And same thing goes for if we set a smaller goal, one that we think we can actually hit. If we set a goal to increase our business by 10%, it's not that exciting to it. So it's going to do the exact same thing again. It's not gonna spike our blood pressure. It's not gonna pump out the adrenaline that needs to get pumped out to actually hit that goal because your life's not gonna change that much by actually doing it. So it's gonna stay exactly where it is. So what do we actually do about it? You've gotta find the perfect crossroad where these two things meet. You've gotta find a goal that is called a stretch goal. So if you were to think to yourself, if you were to really apply yourself in the next year, how much money could you make? And then ask yourself, if you were to 10X that goal, could you hit that next year? And if the answer is no, ask yourself this, what would have to happen in order for you to actually hit that goal? Watch your brain come up with a couple different solutions and things that would actually have to happen in order for you to hit that goal. That is your sweet spot. Once you figure this out, you've now got things you can actually laser focus on. This is enough to spike your blood pressure. This is enough to excite you. This is enough to release the adrenaline through your blood that you actually need to work on, that you need to be released to get excited about going after this goal. Nothing bigger than this, but nothing smaller than this. This is a sweet spot. It's gotta be something that is attainable, but freaking scary, and you still don't quite know how you're gonna do it. That is where you need to have it set. Also have it at the crossroad of somewhere not too far in the distance, but not too soon where you freak out so much thinking, how can you even do it? My opinion is setting a 12 month goal is pretty freaking good. Because anything longer than 12 months, it's kind of too far away to really get excited about, kind of like the Ben and Jerry's. But anything closer than a year, if it's big enough to really get excited about, it's sometimes too close where it could spin you into a cycle not knowing how to actually do it. So now let's put these two things together. What is the secret? The secret is finding your stretch goal. So what's your goal from 12 months from now? And then 10X that goal and ask yourself, if it was to happen, how would you actually do it? It's gonna allow your brain to focus on just a couple different things versus all the different ways to hit your goal. When you focus on smaller goals, you get paralysis of analysis. There's too many options, so you do none. But when you set a goal that's a little bit bigger, like this one, you're gonna come up with just a few solutions and a few roads to get there, allowing you to focus really down on the things that actually matter. And the second part to this is to set it in the future far enough away where you know you've got time to actually get this done, but not too far away where you actually lose momentum and you lose motivation of getting into it. There's so many things when it comes to goal setting, but if you don't have a crystal vision of actually what you want, if you don't have something in your GPS, then nothing's gonna get you off the line to actually get it. So use this formula, discover your goal, and I would love it if you were to comment it below so we can cheer each other on and hold each other accountable. And if you're looking for a super dope planner to use so you can stay really productive each day, then hit the description in the link below and I'll give you an access to my free Life by Design planner that I personally use myself on how I stay super productive every single day to make sure that I crush every single goal that I actually hit. And if this episode has been valuable for you, as always, I would love it if you could like, subscribe, and share this episode with a friend who you're also on the journey to success with. And if you're brand new to this channel, I wanna welcome you to Dream Nation. And until the next episode, everybody, go out there and dream out loud.